My name's Drew Monson, and unlike you, I was brave enough to visit three different thrift stores yesterday. For those who will call that misinformation, here's my shopping bag, and furthermore, here's the dance that the man I met in the fitting room taught me. Putting on them clothes, putting on them- By the way, for those who haven't been on my channel before, this is a haul, but it's not a haul in the normal YouTube sense of the word. Where like back in 2014, somebody showed you things that they had, and it kind of felt like you had them for a second, but then you turned the video off and you grabbed for it and it wasn't there anymore, and it felt like that adult had shown you a baba and then taken it from you. This isn't that, you little infant. I'm just gonna show you items that I found that I thought were interesting and kind of like tell you a little story about them or just a thought that I had on them, and a attempt to make you laugh or even just say hey or even mama mia if we're lucky and I do believe that there are things contained within these bags that you need to see and will change your life in a way that you're not ready to comprehend yet that's actually a good way to get people to keep watching my video by the way like tap into the collective OCD and psychosis of the 2020s make you fearful to leave my content you know what I actually can do that because I saw like a TikTok. have you seen these I'm not even kidding it'll be like a person or not even a person just like something pretty with text over it you know and it'll say something like Money will come into your life if you, you know, comment blank on this post or interact with it in some way. And they're like serious. Like it's not a parody. It's not making fun of messing with people. Am I nuts or like is that nuts? And by the way, I'm not judging the interactors. Like I get it. I've bought multiple lottery scratch off tickets before and that is much more expensive than smashing that like button. Like to look at the world right now and the economy and the state of things and to see people wanting and needing a lot more and to say, wow, look at all that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create content and not just any content. I'm gonna create content that makes the user believe that they have to help me boost it in the algorithm or their dreams won't come true and they won't be able to go on vacation. And by the way, I'll give it to them. That is genius. Like I haven't heard that savvy of manipulation since like confess all of your sins to us and we promise you won't burn for eternity. And it's not like the same level as calling an old person and mimicking their granddaughter's voice using AI to convince you that she's been kidnapped and the only way to save her is to drain your bank account at Walgreens using Western Union. But it is like strikingly similar, right? Like it's second cousins of that type of behavior. Anyway, I swear I'm actually about to start right now. Let me just say because of like the three people who commented on my last thrift store haul telling me that it was wrong of me to buy these things and take them away from the thrift store because the thrift store is like a resource for poor people to use and I was stealing it from them or something. I don't think that makes any sense. That being said, I don't like that you were mad at me anyway. Just to be clear, I do donate the stuff back. And by the way, inflating the value of all of the items because now they've starred into my toe cold video. You're welcome, daddy. Okay, this shirt, this is actually important to me, so listen up. I have some questions and I spent $5.45 on this shirt so I could ask them. I guess I could have just taken a, I guess I could have just taken a picture of all of this stuff, but that wouldn't be fun. You want to watch me touch stuff. Anyway, the shirt says, do I look like I care? Classic, you know, sassy shirt type of caption. I get it. This is a shirt that you wear to say, hey, I'm a brat and I think it's funny and good to be a brat and I want you to know that that's what I am. I'm a little brat. But then they go ahead and stick a minion on there like he's saying it. And you can argue with me. I'm ready to fight. The minions are not apathetic. And by the way, I watched the standalone Minions movie at somebody else's house. Like, don't get it twisted. And I'm just saying, do I look like I care? Yeah, you do. You're a Minion. Like, you give them a banana, they'll give it a nickname and sing a whole song about it. Do I look like I care? Like, yeah, you're wearing overalls. I'm sorry, but that ain't easy to put on. Like anybody who's wearing a one piece had to step into it. Like this isn't a whatever, whatever type of day. By the way, if you didn't care, why are you wearing goggles? Why do you feel the need to protect yourself? Do I look like I care? You're clearly trying to protect your eyes from a chemical burn of some sort. Like what? I think this shirt would be a lot better if it said, do I look like a minion? That would be, that would be a, that should be my merch. Do I look like a minion and a picture of a minion? And Universal Studios sues me for $10 million and I win. And I wear it in court and I give one to the judge. Oh, also, I forgot. So. Today, I actually um, am sponsored by Hello Fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sponsored by Hello Fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who can take the pain and the work out of eating high quality, smart with your cash and smart with your calories? Who can give you farm to the table and a choice from four. 
40 recipes What's the place I'm speaking of? Well, thanks so much for asking me I Sponsored by HelloFresh Yeah, 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 yeah ah, I'm sponsored by HelloFresh Yeah, 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 yeah ah, I've said this before, but I do actually enjoy getting HelloFresh. They literally leave it at your doorstep in a green box and it's fun. What more could you ask for, my friend? And it literally saves me time and we all know I'm running out of that, my man. Bone app eating food. Mmm. Sometimes I'm scared I did a bad job, but it always tastes good. And that's not a reflection on your product, HelloFresh. That's my own self-doubt. Know that. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code THANKSDREW, OMG16 at checkout, and you'll get free, uh, 16 free meals and free shipping. Ha ha ha. That's HelloFresh.com, THANKSDREW, OMG16, 16 free meals, free shipping. And I'm not kidding. For real though, if you've ever wanted to get HelloFresh, it would help me if you got HelloFresh through me, but you don't have to. But anyway, I have to go. I'm mixing this yellow stuff in a bowl. I hope you like the sound of me mixing the yellow stuff. I have to go. I got this because honestly, it just made me laugh and really scared me. Like, look at this little pervert. Like, is he not nasty? Nobody points at their belly like that with their tongue out unless they're saying, I'm gonna put you in here. Like, that's mean. Like, what he's doing, like, if somebody did that to me, like, in public, like, on the bus, was just like, Ugh. I'd perform a citizen's arrest. Like, if you saw this guy, like, hanging out with your little sister, like, you'd tell your mom. Like, mom, I don't know who he is, but his hand was on his belly. It was mom his tongue was out mom I'm not drama I'm just saying I'm scared for Kelsey like can I say that are we a family by the way I just realized he's a piggy bank yeah fat chance someone's gonna put their money in you sir this I'm not even gonna show you yet but let me just tell you I got I might keep this because I thought it would be really good just in just in case it might be a small slim little chance but if for some reason somebody out there one day looks at me and says <laughs> What, were you born in a barn or something? I could take this out of my backpack and be like, yes, I was born in a barn. If somebody said that and I pulled this out, they wouldn't know what hit them. They would like jump, like they'd be, they'd get the chills. And he'd warn everybody like, don't mess with that guy. Like he's scary. Like if you insult him, he will take out an item based on what you said. Yes, I was born in a barn, by the way. You know that anybody who would actually buy this was born in like a three-story McMansion. And what they actually mean is like, I'm a Republican and I own a few pairs of boots. Okay, this, I feel like I don't even need to say anything about, like, this is just funny to me. <laughs> it's literally just a Lego, mama, just mama. Like, that's all you need. Hi. Do you think it's from somebody who just loves Legos and they're saying like how people on the internet are like, mother, like that's mother. Or, like, is it just somebody who loves Lego and is like, mother, square headed mother, yellow head mother. I really feel like I want answers on this. And I'm also satisfied if there are none, cause that's better. Maybe actually, and this could be like a, it's not that deep type of moment, but maybe this was somebody like making a joke out of the fact that they had an absentee mother and they were kind of raised by Legos at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> mama, am I right? Like in my house, it basically was. Because mama. This product goes in the category, by the way, if you go to thrift stores a lot, you'll realize there's a lot of these. Of items where the theme is, you're an old person, you are ugly, you're falling apart, and we want to laugh about that. It's a bottle that's like misshapen and it says, don't laugh. Someday you may sag in the middle too. And it's like a bottle that's sagging, I guess. I wouldn't call it a sag, I'd call it a dip. But I just wanna say, if somebody gave this to me, if when I get older, and I do most of the time plan on getting older, I kinda didn't last night to be honest with you, but I changed my mind. If somebody got this for me and made fun of my sagging body, I'd break this bottle over my own head, like in front of them, and I'd make eye contact the whole time. I'd be like, <laughs> Daniel, and I'd pick it up and I'd do it. I'd show him and the entire birthday party how he made me feel. I would just destroy myself and I'd say, everybody go home now. And like one person would be like, wait, my phone charger is in your living room. I'd be like, you mean my phone charger? <laughs> okay, this is the biggest thing I got. And before I show you this, let me just say, I know my mind just might be in the gutter, but am I crazy in thinking when I see this that this is funny and that like it could be an ad for 
emergency contraception. Just like, hey, did you know that plan B now includes chocolate and latte? They don't just give you the pill. Like, things have changed. Like, but wait, there's more. But right? Like, I kind of feel like this should be put up, like, in the family planning section of Target. Just to entice people, like, even if it's a lie. What if it was true, by the way? What if when you bought that, you could then go to the Starbucks inside Target, they'd give you a voucher, and they give you like a little chocolate bar, or even you can get a cake pop, as long as it's chocolate, a latte. By the way, why is it chocolate and, why isn't it chocolate and a latte? Who made this? Is there a man named Latte who's coming over to have chocolate with us? Hey, Latte! Your Hershey's is on the table. That was stupid. Whatever. You know what? I'm literally trying my hardest and you don't know how bad of a mindset I, I've been in for three days recently. I thought this shirt was really interesting for a few reasons. Number one, it's just fun. I like that the Wi-Fi is on. Like that might be my favorite detail. It's 316. That's a famous Bible verse, John 316. That's crazy. They went crazy with this. I also like to imagine like somebody wearing this in public and just a person walking up to them and tapping the accept over and over again, like thinking it's really happening. Like, hello, just over and over again and being like, well, don't wear it then. So you're mad at me? When you put on the garment, you're mad at me. By the way, I just want to take this opportunity to point out your phone actually shouldn't be charged to 100% because I heard on a podcast that that's bad for the battery health. You're only supposed to let it go to 80 and sometimes your phone now, you're only supposed to let it go to 80. So anyway, Jesus calling, take care of your phone. By the way, I hope this isn't offensive, but I've been told I look like Jesus before. <laughs> you know there's at least like one person who if I wore this in public would be like, just like fall down, like all their groceries on the floor. This is SpongeBob. Honestly, I got this because I wanted to point out, isn't it kind of unsettling to see SpongeBob as a circle and not a square? Don't you feel like that just isn't meant to be? Because like imagine if he had just always been that way. Like if SpongeBob was a circle, if his head was a circle, then his pants couldn't have been square shaped because then the circle would just fall in there <laughs> and then SpongeBob would just be square pants. He wouldn't be SpongeBob square pants. He would just be square pants. But then if his pants were also a circle, then you just got a snowman. At that point, we're just talking snowman sponge pants. And nobody ain't want that. This is a shirt that says teenage daughter survivor. If I was a teenage girl and I saw my mom wearing this like to the mall, I'd request an emancipation. You know, they should have a shirt for the daughter to wear that goes along with this shirt. Like it should be a two pack. And the other one says, mom who would ever buy this shirt survivor. Or like I'm being raised by a mother who roasts me on her apparel. And all I got was literally the ugliest red shirt you've ever seen. By the way, I just realized I might be looking at this all wrong. Like, who says this isn't just the merch for, like, an indie folk band named Teenage Daughter Survivor? Like, that kind of makes sense, right? Like, a band that would be in one of those Spotify playlists called, like, Sad Coffee Girl Vibes. And it's, like, kind of good, but it contains no soul in any way, and you know that deep down, but you, you're still grooving a little. By the way, I am a Teenage Daughter Survivor. I don't have kids. I don't have a teenage daughter. But somebody's teenage daughter has been terrorizing me for, like, four years now. I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from. We've never actually spoken before, but she will chase me for like miles at a time in front of people who, by the way, do nothing about it. This was just funny to me because like, it's so tiny. Like it says you are the best grandpa, but like it's comically small. Like to me, it's like, is he? Cause like he can only see his nose in here. By the way though, now that I think about it, like the nose is the most important part of a grandpa. Am I wrong? Like think about your grandpa or like one of them, even if they're both dead, I'm sorry if that makes you sad, but you can agree that like his nose was memorable. Am I wrong? Like he had something right here that we'll never forget. But honestly, like if he's the best grandpa, get him a full body mirror. Like don't cheap out. Let him take a gander at his beer belly. It's literally blurry. What if I looked in here right now and it was like the face app? where I have like a bunch of wrinkles, but I'm still wearing the same beanie. It's just like, I think I'm gonna edit that so it's actually, if you're watching this right now, did I do it? Did I put the edit? I'm so good. If I did, if I, if I did that, I'm so good. I bought this and I couldn't think of anything funny to say about it anyway, but luckily it broke. It just says whine a little, laugh a lot. And now it's, it's literally just like a weapon. Like this is glass. I'm so clumsy. Like I could see myself dying at the hands of whine a little, laugh a lot, like later tonight. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm dumb and lazy enough to leave like glass on the floor, like near where I walk for like 
a few months. I think partly I do stuff like that because deep down there's nothing I love more than going to urgent care. Like I don't want to be hurt, I hate pain, but there is something about getting to skip the line at a medical facility that makes one feel like a special boy. Look at this. I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween. <laughs> By the way, this could be like the catchphrase for my YouTube channel, like whine a little, laugh a lot. Like I whine a little bit, but you laugh a lot, hopefully. And I'll admit sometimes there are those videos where I whine a lot and you only laugh a little. Sometimes I whine a little bit about how I don't have wine anymore and then you laugh a lot and you gotta get a little bit of wine because you feel like you should have only laughed a little. Remember that video? I bought this honestly because I thought it would be funny because I think it's haunted, but then it broke. Um, so something has been unleashed. Like that little boy <laughs> lives in my closet now and he's gonna hit me with that stick while I sleep. And I'm gonna wake up and think it was a dream and it wasn't. It says something on it, I think like in German, I'm gonna Google translate that right now. That is slightly disturbing. Like that has given me somewhat of the chills. It says first the work, then the game. That definitely like was a line in The Shining, right? I kind of relate to that because like I'm making this video right now and I am enjoying myself. Like I really am, but I also have promised myself cashew ice cream afterwards. First the work, then the game. The game is putting uh, rainbow sprinkles on it because I bought rainbow sprinkles. And uh, let me tell you, I win every time. This is a shirt that to me is just crazy. It says, I live in a crazy house run by a tiny army that I enrolled myself. Just very strange wording. Like, are they your family? By the way, like this is how I felt quite often before I got sober. Like I would take things that would have me believing that I lived in a crazy house run by a tiny army that I enrolled myself. And the tiny army like was being formed out of the shapes in my popcorn ceiling. I mean it when I say this, by the way, what kind of strange man wears this? Cause you know there's a guy out there who actually feels this way about like his four sons. And he's like, Oliver, Henry, Jaden, Kai, what do you do when father says fight? That's right, you sick. Now show father your weapons. Good boys, that looks great. This, I don't even know if I wanted it, but you know there's some things you see at the thrift store that you like need for your life, and there's some things you see at the thrift store that you would just be upset if somebody else had them. And this big yellow cat is the ladder. Like honestly, when I first saw this, I thought that a line might have already formed behind me and I just hadn't seen it yet. He's saying, ooh, do you see that? Like if I had passed this by yesterday and then visited some old woman's house for tea and this was on her mantle, I don't mean to be gross by the way, but wouldn't it be amazing to be a small little bird and take a bath in here? Am I being disgusting or is that just plain true? I have an idea by the way, they should make the airport more fun and before you go through the body scanner thing where you put your hands up, you should put your keys and wallet and stuff in here. This, honestly, I bought this. By the way, do you know who this guy is? You ever seen this guy before? Does he mean anything to you? I got this because I just, I think I like things that have a bunch of little things on them. This is also what I wish my hair was. This is what my hair looked like in like eighth grade before I wore too many hats. And the girls in front of me in class would be like, can I touch it? Oh my God, there's no split ends. Like, what do you do to it? Like, what do you use? And I'd be like, dollar store two in one shampoo conditioner. And they'd like get mad at me. Like I miss those days. By the way, the price Ice is on his tongue. Like, that's not fair. Like, I know that they do this because they're afraid that people will steal things and if they just put like a little sticker on it, you could just like take off the sticker and walk out of the store and be like, that was already mine. But that being said and understood, you still don't write the price in Sharpie on Tasmanian Devil's tongue. You just don't do that. Like you're saying that if I buy this, I have to go home and scrub in my sink for like 10 minutes. And by the way, get rid of the sponge that I'm using immediately afterwards, cause forget that. I don't want marker residue on the rest of my dishes. Like you look at me and think that I'm somebody who doesn't fear ink poisoning, like I do. Like imagine just buying this for your kid and having to convince him that that's actually candy that the Tasmanian devil just has a number on his tongue. Yeah, honey, I hate to say it, but that's why they call him the devil. That's the number of the beast, sweetheart. Okay, this, let me know if this makes you laugh because I laughed about this in the store and I thought I would share it with you and see what happens. Um, no, this isn't funny. Now I'm nervous. It's a mug and it says, I got out of bed for this dot 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 and it's got Eeyore on there looking kind of upset, but kind of cute. And I just thought it was funny because I know that the joke is supposed to be like, I got out of bed for this, but I imagine that it was was like, I got out of bed for this, meaning I got out of bed so I could put my own tail in my mouth and wear this hat. Do you think it was worth it? This is why I got out of bed so I could do what I'm doing. It's like me if I said like, I got out of bed for this. 
and I just like did a shoulder shake. And you were like, oh, cool. Like, so did you, so you slept well? But for real, like I've said this about other thrift store products a lot, but I really think that you can get like a good gauge of the true hopelessness of the American population by looking at the attitudes on the trinkets in a thrift store. Like they're so sad. I got out of bed for this. You know what? Yeah, you did. And there's beautiful stuff all around you if you'd pay attention. I got out of bed for this. Drive like 30 minutes to two hours, even if it's man-made, like there's a body of water near you, take a dip, you'll feel something. And like you got out of bed for that. Yes, of course you did. I'm just kidding. I'm actually really cynical. I got out of bed for this. Drive like 30 minutes to two hours, even if it's man-made, like there's a body of water near you, take a dip, you'll feel something. And like you got out of bed for that. Yes, of course you did. I'm just kidding. I'm actually really cynical. Imagine somebody like giving this to their friend that they care about and being like, this made me think of you, Cheryl. And Cheryl's like, oh, <laughs> right, because um, because I struggled to get out of bed from time to time. That's fun. Would you get this at the Disney store? This, this shirt to me just goes in the category of like, what happened to the world? Like, why, why did they make this? This is for people, by the way, I'm just gonna put this on. Like, what am I doing? That's actually crazy. Like I was making fun of it, but it kind of works in a big way. Wow. I kind of feel like a cheetah girl. I kind of feel like something and somebody for the first time in my life. Cheetah girl, a Cheeto girl. <laughs> like I feel like a cheetah girl. Like I feel like a cheetah girl, more like a Cheeto girl. I just came up with that. Like I feel like a cheetah girl. This honestly is just a hat that is like the merch of a local grocery store. Shout out to Save Mart. I thought it would be interesting. I don't know if I'll keep it, but I do like having hats that tell a story that aren't true. Like I have this hat that says fish fear me and I don't fish. And sometimes people will be like, hey, where's the best spot to fish around here? And I'll just go, I don't know. And then this, maybe they'll say like, how long have you worked at Save Mart? And I'll just go, I don't know, I don't. And then there's just people all over the city who are like, that man wears lying hat. It also literally was 50 cents. Like I'm consistently puzzled by the way they price things now in thrift stores. Like I swear, you'll find like a tiny button like with a heart on it and it'll be like $7.99. Is this an original Andy Warhol? Like, why would you ever? And then this hat, this beautiful hat, 50 cents? I felt like I was thieving. This cup I thought was interesting because listen to this. Okay, I hope you're having fun because this is the kind of stuff that entertains me. I was at the store and I saw this cup and it says, new daddy needs more coffee. And I thought like, okay, that could mean like this guy just had kids, he's very tired, the baby's crying all night, he needs more coffee, ha ha ha, caffeine is helping the father. But then I thought, or it could be for a child who has a new daddy and the child needs more coffee because the child's been up all night making the switch from dad to dad and he's exhausted. Like for real, new daddy needs more coffee. Or the new daddy himself needs more coffee because the new daddy is so tired from being switched out from the old daddy. Or there's just a guy whose name is literally new daddy and he's out of coffee like for other reasons. Like he just forgot to buy that. And if you're anything like me, when you see this, those are your first thoughts. And then you think, hmm, I wonder if there's any code within here. Let me look at all of the greens and all of the purples and all of the blues and see if that makes a new sentence. And then you realize it doesn't. All that happens is ed way nud. And if ed way nud means anything to you and you think it could help me, please let me know. In all seriousness though, I am so tired of products that are based around parents complaining about having kids. Oh, he's been up all night, so now I need my espresso and a wine glass. How about you just don't make a new guy? You didn't have to do that. Oh, my whole identity has changed. I used to be Jonathan, and now I'm just dad. Why don't you just kiss your wife like the rest of us? I had to take it one step further. Oh, there's bags under my eyes now because I made a rug rat. You shouldn't have then. Just kidding, by the way, I know it's okay to have mixed feelings about having children. And if you're out there and you have those, I'm here to listen. And if you wanna hear about that, go check, go look in the comment section. I'm sure somebody's talking about what it's like to really have kids.
this guy, <laughs> every time I look at this, like I could not help but put this in my cart. He is so weird. By the way, like appears to have been dug up by like an archeologist. Like this is an artifact. What happened? It's so dirty and withering away. Like it feels like this sunk with the Titanic. It's almost not even here anymore. I think it's a little squirrel who like got like two little peanuts in his mouth. I don't love that there's a hole in the back. I don't feel like that had to be a part of this. I call that an unnecessary hole in my opinion. When I bought this by the way, cause whenever I buy this stuff, I have like 14 insane things and I'm so scared of the cashier saying anything. And I like social interaction. Sometimes it really helps me like that cashier to customer thing that happens. But in this instance, I'll be honest, I so badly want them to be one of the thrift store cashiers that just like hates their life and won't even make eye contact with me. But then sometimes, you know, you get that talkative cashier where everything they ring up, they're like, oh, oh. What's this? They were like, what is this? And it almost felt accusatory. Like it almost felt like they were actually saying, what do you plan to do with this? I always am ready if they look at me funny to be like, oh, I make YouTube videos, which doesn't really explain anything. Like, oh, you make YouTube videos. That's why you're buying nine ugly shirts. Honestly, I don't feel like this belongs in a store. Like, I feel like I should just leave this on the street. This seems like something that you should find while you're like on a walk. Like this should be something that you happen upon and it's kind of life affirming. You're like, huh, things are sort of interesting. This I got, I just like it. It says I'm nuts about my grandpa. There really are a lot of products, by the way, that center around grandkids being obsessed with their grandparents. And like, don't get me wrong. Grandkids, they do love, people love their grandparents. They're less annoying than their parents. They're old, like it's kind of funny. It's like, grandpa, why are you so old, you know? But that being said, I don't think that it's the kid's idea for there to be so much merch about it. For there to be so many shirts that just say like, my grandpa means everything to me. If you look at my grandpa in the wrong way, I will hurt somebody. It might not even be you, but I will take action. Hands off my grandpa. I'm not joking. Don't give him a hug, even if you like know him from church or something. But I do like that this guy, you can move his hands and it kind of looks like he's going, whoa, whoa, like he's on a ride. Like what happened to the nut? Why is he dizzy? Why is he about to take a tumble? This is a little ring with Santa Claus on it. It only fits on my pinky because I got big meaty porks. I just like how simple it is. Like there's so much Christmas stuff that's like, this is an ugly sweater and there's lights on it and it says ho, ho, ho. This, that's just Santa. That's all you need. Like enough said. I'm gonna take this to a pawn shop and demand he gives me like $80 for it. And when he says no, what are you talking about? Like start throwing a fit. Like start knocking everything over. And then when he calls the cops, make a run for it. I want to run away. This is a button that I got just because I think it's so weird that this exists. Like it says dinner is in the oven. Like that's such a specific time frame that it would be appropriate to wear this for. Like by the time you put the button on, dinner's not in the oven anymore. It's in your mouth. That's like me making a shirt that says like, I have to go to the bathroom and someone's like, oh, do you? And I'm like, eh, well, I'm sometimes. I just like the idea of a little kid wearing this and the mom being like, Tyler, take that off. We ate three hours ago. The oven is not even preheated right now, Tyler. You are going out of your way to lie to your family. This I'm not even gonna make fun of. I feel like you would think that I would, but this is just sweet. Like any reason I could come up with why somebody is wearing this, they're trying to work on loving themselves. So they like take a walk around the mall in this. Just letting everyone know like, yeah, I do. Somebody made me feel like I don't, but I do. Or like somebody gives it to somebody who's struggling and your dad is like, son, I know you're a nerd and like nobody likes you, but like put this on, things might change. I feel like this shirt is powerful. Like I could even imagine a scenario where like somebody's getting bullied in the same place every day, but one day he shows up wearing this and the guy walks up to him and doesn't see it yet. And he's like, hey loser, didn't I tell you to, wait a second, I think you're right. You matter and, and so do I. This, okay, this is kind of dumb, but I thought like, what if this was my new merch? Cause I kind of feel like this is what my channel is. Like it's a therapeutic playground. Like sometimes we talk about our problems, sometimes we cry, and then sometimes I just dance around and I act really crazy with a mug. Like when you think about it, all these little kids, that's you and me. Like the therapeutic playground is this bedroom right here with this dollar and this bird and this card from my grandma and this picture of me when I was a kid dressed up as a werewolf with jeans on and this piece of tape that I got at the store. Okay, that was fun. That is everything except 
for the mystery item, huh? Look, I put a question mark on a bag. You have to go over to my Patreon to find out what the mystery item is. I just thought that would be funny. Keep in mind, the mystery item isn't like a mysterious item. It's just a mystery what it is. But don't get like too excited. Like I don't want you to think that it's like a treasure map. I also want to talk on Patreon because I don't want to talk about it here, but there is a theory I have about something that's going on in my YouTube comments that I think is fishy and I could be wrong. But anyway, as far as my Patreon goes, by the way, somebody commented like, if I subscribe to it, do I just get the video for this one? You get all of them. There's like two years of videos or something. But again, I'll always be here for free as long as I'm making videos for the most part. That was fun though. Did you have fun? Can I tell you, I really have had like an especially bad week. I know you have too. No matter what, you could be watching this five years in the future. I just know these things. If you clicked on this, you are struggling. I'm like a lightning rod for people going through it. But today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and make a video. I don't wanna force it. I'll turn on the camera, and if I don't have fun, I'll turn it off, which I've done at least 750 times before and actually turned it off. But I did start having fun. Right when this guy came out, I started jamming. Why is he doing that? He's making a statement. Like, anyway, I'm gonna go talk on my Patreon now. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna sing the song first that I sing at the end of my videos. Happy birthday. Leave me a comment